Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. If you guys are new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays. But I do want to tell you guys that the deck that I'm using today is called the Sun and Moon Tarot, which fun fact is actually the very first tarot deck that I ever bought. But I do also want to let you guys know that in case you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. But in the meantime, I want to give you guys the heads up that sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I usually don't take cards that flip over, over in the deck. I only take cards that jump out like these ones have. And I, my main goal is to get roughly eight or nine cards. And because we have eight cards that jumped out already, we can get started on your reading. So Capricorn, I do just want to let you guys know that in case the reading really resonates for you guys, or if you just enjoy it, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But your overall energy here is the seven of swords. Sorry, seven of wands. So the seven of wands is a really nice card to have, especially when we're talking about long-term commitments or projects because the seven of swords sorry seven of wands why i think that you guys are dealing with some very shady people the seven of swords that i keep talking about is a very shading card because it talks about people who are sneaky who don't have your best interests who are looking to hurt you and not benefit you in any way shape or form and just want to see your downfall, right? And I think that because I've mentioned it so many times in such a short span of time, tells me that even though the card isn't here, the energy is coming through. And that's exactly what like a sneaky person with the Seven of Swords would do. I feel like you guys are experiencing somebody who is very envious, who's very jealous, and who wants what you have but doesn't want to put the work into it. And they don't see your blood, sweat, and tears that you've, you, like, put it into everything that you have to ha to get it. And I feel like some of you might not even know. Like, I feel like for some of you guys, for some of you guys, it's just such second nature to put hard work and effort and love into what you do that you can't, like, if you sat down and really thought about it, you would be like, oh, yeah, I do do that. But it doesn't just, like, roll off the tongue for you guys. But either way, I feel like there is the presence of somebody here who wants to hurt you. So be very aware of that and be very careful of them. But like I was saying, with the seven of wands here, the energy is that of worth fighting for something. So I feel like there's something that you guys, maybe like some kind of a passion project that you thought wasn't worth continuing. But this seven of wands here is, he, is here to tell you basically that you should follow your passions. You should do the things that you want to do because they those are, labors are going to give you fruit later on down the road so we have here the seven of cups as well as the fool card so the seven of cups talks all about fantasies and daydreamings and sort of even sometimes delusions but what i'm getting here is that it's very similar to the energy that was in the cancer reading so maybe if this reading really resonates for you guys you might that might be worth looking at but this to me feels like a card about manifestation. So you guys need to really sit down and sort of picture what your ideal world is because I feel like it's going to really start to come into fruition if you guys can identify what your goal is and start working towards it. I'm hearing medical field for a lot of you guys, right? So here in the fool card, I see sort of this medical symbol. It's a little hard to come, it's a little hard to see in the video and I don't exactly know what it's called, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been interested in the medical field and perhaps because of this reason or that reason or whatever, you haven't really gone into it. You haven't gone to school or whatever, but I think that for a lot of you guys, because of this recent isolation period that we are having, um, you might have been very interested in it and maybe it's something that you're willing to pursue. I feel a very clear line for somebody who is like perhaps a little bit older who feels like they don't have the time to do it but 
I feel like this reading is here to tell you and everyone else there out there who has dreams that they feel like they can't achieve or shouldn't or rather anything at all. Like, go after them because you're not going to be, like, there's a very real chance that if you don't go after the dreams that you want, you might regret them later. And, you know, this reading is here telling you that you might, that you can do it. Because you have also the Page of Swords with the Lover's card. And the Lover's card, to me, feels like a couple different things. For one, I feel like if you guys have a spouse, or any kind of partner in particular, but a spouse in particular, um, really wants to support you. And they really have your best interests in mind, right? So I talked about that person who is that Seven of Swords bad energy. But this lover's card here feels like there are people that you can confide in as long as you make sure to choose them correctly. Uh, this also, the secondary d interpretation of this feels like you can achieve what you want to achieve because the lover's card is also a card about surmountation of obstacles. And here with the Page of Swords, uh, it's called the Princess of Swords in this deck, there is that energy of s the beginning stages of getting something to, like getting the ball rolling because the swords are all about communication and intelligence as well as just like anything that happens in, in the brain and in the mind. And it's important to note that the king and the queen are very smart and very educated and they are doctors and they are lawyers. So I'm guessing that for some of you guys, this might be like the beginning stages of you guys becoming a king or a queen of sword. So don't be afraid to pursue your dreams. Then these two cards... You have the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, which are two cards about, or sorry, which are two Pentacles cards, and five into the six, that's progression, that's progress and acceleration, so I feel like things are going to go pretty quickly for you guys, but with the Six of Pentacles, I see money raining from the sky. Like, she has her dress out, it's a little hard to tell, but she has her dress out, because she's trying to catch the money that's falling from the sky. Uh, these coins that are falling. So I think that you guys are, have a very real power to manifest things. Uh, very divinely given money to you. Even if you're in sort of this five of pentacles energy, which is feeling like you're out in the cold. Some of you might have actually even been homeless, I'm hearing, or very close to it. But do know that if that's the situation that you're in, things are going to get better because you are, yeah, I'm hearing that. And especially since I talked about earlier how somebody might envy you, you might even be like, what, what do I have to envy? Well, you have your fighting spirit, you know, you might be down, but not out for some of you guys. And like, obviously the situ the varying levels of how down you are is going to vary from person to person. But I feel like this person sees you fighting and they see how strong you are and how unbreakable your will is and they are just dumbfounded by it and they're envious and they're a little bit mad and they're like, why can't I have that? Because they know that if they were put in the same situation, they would not be as strong as you are and display the sort of leadership skills that you have. And then this combination here feels very powerful to me because the moon card talks all about our subconscious and then the Hermit card talks all about introspection. So I feel like because you've sort of been in this period here, or perhaps you were in the Five of Pentacles energy, you were also simultaneously in this Hermit energy. And I think that while you were in this Hermit energy, you spent a lot of time trying to figure things out and a lot of time getting things to work. And as a result, you have really not become a stranger to this moon card energy, which is also, I looked at the clock on my video just now, and it was 0909, so that number might be very important for you guys. But either way, with the moon card, it feels like you guys are becoming very aware of perhaps even your spiritual tendencies um, with all this stuff, like the manifestation, the tarot, the... All the, the, all the hermit card even talks about spirituality as well, right? So I feel like you guys are becoming expert manifestors. And now that you've gone within with the moon card, like the moon and the hermit are both cards about like spirituality. Now you're kind of coming out. And instead of introspecting, you're 
sort of communicating what you've learned to other people you're teaching as well as just applying it in general because you have sort of your inner world and your exterior world and now you're ready to put what you've learned from your inner, inner world into the outside world, right? Manifestation, input and output, sending it out to the universe and getting it back. So don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to really go after what you want. Um, even if you're in a tough situation now and like, obviously you don't have to be homeless to be in a tough situation, but I'm getting that whatever it is that you're in a tough situation about, it's going to pass because you have sort of this unbreakable will. But that was your reading for Summer Round Capricorn. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if you guys enjoy these readings. But like I said before, I upload my new Capricorn videos on Thursdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.